The Everglades are one of a kind. One and a half million acres of subtropical wilderness in South Florida, providing habitat for wildlife and drinking water for millions of people. But decades of development and water diversion for farming have left parts of these famous wetlands parched. And much of the water that does flow in has been polluted with phosphorus from agriculture and stormwater runoff. Plans to restore the Everglades have been in the works for decades. But now a key project is finally underway. Many consider the Everglades Agricultural Area Reservoir to be the crown jewel of the comprehensive Everglades restoration plan. The reservoir is truly gonna be a game changer for the Everglades and for South Florida. The reservoir will take in excess water from Lake Okeechobee. The water will filter through a stormwater treatment area. 6,500 acres of man-made marsh designed to naturally clean the water before flowing into the Everglades. That allows us to take water from Lake Okeechobee, uh, water that would otherwise sit there, stack up in the wet season, leading to those unwanted discharges to the east and west coast. It allows us to take that water, store it, clean it, and put it back in the Everglades uh, where it belongs. Putting the wet back in these wetlands is critical, not just for the wildlife that live here, but also to put its unique peat soil to work as a climate solution. In terms of climate change, Everglades restoration is really an enormous carbon sink. It only works though when the ecosystem is wet and often the Everglades are too dry for too long. That leads to the oxidation of these peat soils across this surface that spans millions of acres. So by restoring the hydrology, getting the water right, we can regrow that carbon sequestration engine that this system has naturally within it to build up those peat soils. But some environmental groups say the reservoir project may not be big enough to have a meaningful impact. The plans were scaled back from a proposed 60,000 acre reservoir to just over 10,000 acres. And research from Florida Gulf Coast University suggests more treatment areas need to be set aside to ensure the water that flows into the Everglades is actually clean. But experts say the reservoir represents the single biggest effort to restore the natural flow of water to the Everglades. And more projects are on the way, with state and federal governments each pledging $1 billion for Everglades restoration over the past year. The funding is where we need it to be. It's just sustaining that funding from both the state and federal government to get this project across the finish line. 